President Trump has shared a bizarre video on his Truth Social account claiming he is an instrument of God. Uh, let's watch a little bit of that. And on June 14, 1946, God looked down on his planned paradise and said, I need a caretaker. So God gave us Trump. God said, I need somebody willing to get up before dawn, fix this country, work all day, fight the Marxists, eat supper, then go to the Oval Office and stay past midnight at a meeting of the heads of state. So God made Trump. Yeah, Karen, your jaw is dropping. I, well, because <laughs> I just finished reading Tim Alberta's book about what has been going on uh, among uh, conservative white evangelicals. And this is exactly what he talks about, that part of the way that evangelicals have been way, uh, ready, able to make their peace with the fact that Trump maybe not so godlike in his behaviors, but that he is the person who can deliver and restore America to what they believe it ought to be. And also that once again, without saying it, the image of the, the socialist Marxist, I think it was, is Tish James, who is African-American. She also happens to be my cousin, so I generally don't tend to comment on her cases. But, you know, there again, racial grievance is at the center of his message. Yeah, that didn't seem accidental. And I mean, but, but this is part of the playbook. That's, that's you have to think in a place like remember, Iowa. Yeah, this, is not, um, this is not new, right? Um, these are the same evangelicals who somehow justified to themselves um, voting for a guy in 2016 who we all heard boast on video, we all heard him in his own voice boasting about committing sexual assault. It's a, a man who cheated on his first wife with his second wife, cheated on his second wife with, with his third wife, and cheated on the third wife with a stripper and a Playboy bunny. And yet, the evangelicals lined up behind him. And so, this is not this is not new. I agree with Karen. I think it's uh, how do you explain it to yourself? How do you look at yourself in the mirror? How do you then go to church on the weekend and get on your knees and pray? And the only way to do it is by pretending that uh, that he is uh, that, that he is a, a good Christian.